you guys welcome back to my channel Today. someone requested that I do a fall burgundy look so this is what I came up with um, I just want to say a little disclaimer real quick excuse the ratchet nail <laughs> you're gonna see her a lot throughout this video but yeah I broke my nail this weekend oh, yeah. so anyway on to other things if you guys want to see how I got this look just go ahead and keep on watching so as you can see, I've already done my foundation, concealer, and eyebrows. Um, I just used my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion to prime my lids. Any primer will work, whatever you prefer. Um, even a concealer if you don't have an eyeshadow primer. Those work just as good sometimes. So starting out, I'm going to go ahead and take my Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette. I've already used this palette so much, you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and take this white color right here. And see, I'm going to use that as my base to set my eyeshadow primer. I'm going to put this all over the lid. And that's just going to help to set our shadow and bring out all the other colors that we're using and help everything to blend a little bit more easily. So using the Morphe Kathleen Lights palette again, we're going to take this lighter maroon color right here on the palette and we're going to use that as our transition shade. It's a little bit darker than I would normally use for a transition shade but we want to have a really pretty maroon fall dramatic look so that's what we're going to do. And I'm only kind of putting it on, I'm using a very light hand to blend it out. If you want more pigment on it you can always build it up. Once again very light hand just blending it into that crease. And then a little bit above the crease. And then just circular motions to help diffuse it a little bit. So once we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and go in with a different blending brush. And I'm going to take the darker maroon shade right here. And I'm going to get some of that. Tap off excess. Start out here. And then blend it just into the crease. We're going to keep it below the transition shade, this is really going to help to give your eyes more dimension and depth. And we're just keeping it right in there. Mostly keeping it on the outside and then blending it directly into the crease. And then I'm going to do little circular motions to help blend everything together. So I'm going to go ahead and take a flat brush right here and we're going to take this gorgeous color at the bottom and we're just going to go ahead and pat that on. And then, I'm just going to put that all over the lid, pat it on. Just to brighten it up a tiny bit, I'm going to go ahead and take this gold color, just a little bit. And I'm going to put that just right directly in the middle, just to kind of highlight it a little bit. Just like that. Then I'm going to take a little angled brush right here. And I'm going to go in with this color. This has been my favorite color to highlight the inner corners of my eyes with. And I'm just going to take that and do exactly that. We're going to highlight the inner corners of my eye. Then taking the angled brush again, I'm going to go ahead and go in with that maroon color one more time. And we're just going to line the lower lash line. Just like that. So now I'm going to line my eyes and I'm going to go ahead and wing it out like I always do because wing liner is just my thing. Like that's my favorite Obviously, thing. Obviously you don't have to wing it out like I'm going to. Um, you could just do regular eyeliner, you could do no eyeliner, you could just do whatever you feel comfortable with. But for me, just I feel like a wing liner just always completes a look, especially in the fall. And, and since I didn't say, I'm using my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. What else is new? So 
So I'm going to go ahead and mascara up my lashes using my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. And I'm going to go ahead and contour a little bit using my Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced. This bronzer. Every time, you guys. Every time. It smells so good. Seriously, it just smells so good. And I'm just going to bronze and contour on my forehead. And then a little bit on the jawline. And then my cheekbones. Just a little bit. But um, we're going to just take the same blush that I always use. I like to pat it on and then blend it out. And we're going to go ahead and take Prosecco Pop right here, the highlight. We're going to use that to highlight our cheeks. I just feel like Prosecco Pop is such a perfect mm -hmm. highlight for... I just feel like Prosecco Pop is a perfect highlight for fall because it's so golden-y. So we're going to use my NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in the color Vintage. And if this color does not scream fall, I don't know what does. But it's a very maroony, dark lip. And then, you know, it's going to take down the hair. Because that's how I always have to finish a look. And then this is the completed fall maroon look. So that is it for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I always love filming makeup looks, especially in the fall time. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this video and you want to see more of my videos, please click that subscribe button. I always love new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye!